Last aircraft calling, say again. Yeah, TBM 9 or 1, Papa X3 is on the mist. That was the very last thing I wanted to do right now. Alrighty, we spent a few days in Las Vegas, got some work done, and now it's time to head home to Alpine. Gonna be some fun weather today, icing all over the place, rain, some low clouds. Uh, might end up in Idaho Falls, we'll see, but uh, it'll be a good flight. Still stuck here in Boulder City because of Biden, but we're getting out of here, heading home. Oral warning, okay. One that more minutes, uh, Toss system test, okay. Okay, FTT's good, battery's good. Area's clearing out the covers. This one's kind of on. Pressure, that's the off. That's good. Start a timer. Rotation, everything's looking good. There's 13. Low idle. Good light off. Confirm. Less than, well, basically less than 870 or 870 to 1000. And test heats real quick. Those look good. Okay, so we should get outer, outer. 6,500 Express Near, with the tail. Okay. So that's good, park brakes release. We're ready to taxi. Okay, so we got lights, air, flaps. We're gonna just go ahead and set those now. Trims are set. Special separator, we'll get heats in a second. And cast messages will be out. And Ready to go? I'm ready to go. Let's hit it. It looks clear. We got our, all our lights on just in case. Auto, auto. Coming on. Flaps are set. That stuff's good. Bill's on right. Here we go. Let's go. Okay, set 100% torque. Basically right there. Airspeed's alive. Slight right crosswind. Rotate at 85, there's 85, rotate. And we're up. Grab into the wind. Grab the brakes. Get the landing gear up. Up's coming up. Gears up, so putting in some left rotor trim. That will make a left turn here. And we'll keep listening to them and go ahead and call approach. Las Vegas approach, TBM 9 or 1, Papa X ray. TBM 3 0, Papa X ray, you're coming in broken, say again. Yeah, TBM 9 or 1, Papa X ray, just off Boulder City looking for an IFR to 4 6 uniform. 9 1, Papa X ray, unable IFR pickup at this time, contact approach 9 or 7, they may be able to get you one. That was 1977? Yeah, 1977, Papa X ray. Las Vegas approach, TBM 9 or 1, Papa X ray. TBM 9 1, Papa X ray approach. Yeah, we're just off Boulder City looking for an IFR to 46 uniform. Let's we'll try approach on 2547, sir. They sent us over to you. Uh, I can't help you. <laughs> Alrighty, well. Can't help you. Yeah, approach TBM 91 Pop X-ray, uh, 1977, send us back over to you. 9-1 pop X-ray, you said 1977, sent you back to me. Okay, firm. Hey, well, you're in the airspace, contact approach 1977 or, uh, or, or maintain VFR. Okay, we'll try that. Do you have a frequency for, like, center once we're past you guys, or...? Uh, 124.2 at about 25 miles. Okay, thanks. Sorry about that, Enterbone 3500 and over to Tower, just show you. Expert 49, 10 degrees right, the center maintains 7000. 10 degrees right, main, uh, center maintains 7000, Expert 49. 
approach, uh, Rock Band 610 is descending via uh, the Rockstar 3. Rock Band 610, 6 left. 6 left, Rock Band 610. Approach, TBM 1, pop X ray, uh, they told us to come back to you. TBM 1, pop X ray, Roger. It'll be about 10 minutes or so, I'll get a chance, I'll walk over and I'll find a printer that I can print on a ship for you. Give me a second. Okay, thanks, appreciate it. Fine, we love VFR at a TBM. <laughs> I'm going to go straight to flight level 310. Uh, nope, not today. Not today. <laughs> not today. Right. Uh, flight to Wyoming at 75. <laughs> cruise, cruise along here at <laughs> 7,500 feet. We'll get out of the Bravo here and then. Oh, we're the almost out. Yeah. Huh? I don't know how much higher we're going to be able to get for the moment, but. Uh, I mean, well, we're on the Bravo. Before we get to the clouds here. Go ahead and go to 850 mode here. Uh, 1252, turn left heading 170, maintain 1, 1000. 170 on the heading 1, 1000, United 1252. Do we turn the inertial separator off so we can go faster to then just turn it back on in a second? I or mean, it sounds like ATC could be a minute. I mean, I would say it's been about Band 10 minutes. Band 610 approaches 135.0, you have a great day. DVI 1, Pox for x are you still looking for average clearance, what's your position now? Uh, we're about 30 miles uh, northeast of Boulder City. Yeah, you're about to exit my space. Let's try LA Center 124.2, they should be able to help you out. 2421, Pop X. Of course. <laughs> he, he wasn't actually going to help us, he's just uh, like, just oh, boot, it's a little boot bit of the next guy. After that. <laughs> <sighs> How's the weather in Alpine looking? Well, since we have a minute. Yeah, we as well. And it says is it's uh, one and three yet. quarters with mist scattered 300. Well, don't, love, no don't, 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 don't love the scattered 300. Oh. No. We'll see. If we get rid of the scattered 300, scattered 1300 might be worth taking. I would love not to shoot the mist or all the icing back up to 12,000 feet. That sounds pretty not fun. Uh, center TBM 9 or 1 Papa X-ray, just for planning, uh, how's that IFR looking? Oh, sorry about that, the Papa X-ray uh, aircraft, uh, let's see here, you're squawking uh, 5651, correct? A affirmative 1 Papa X-ray. Sorry about that. Sure. <laughs> one, sir, and I'll get your guys' clearance. Um, yeah, November uh, 9 1 Papa X-ray, uh, you, sir, are radar contact here. About uh, 20 miles uh, north of Mormon Mesa at 1, 2, 12, And uh, you guys are cleared to the 46 Uniform Airport. The, uh, a right turn direct to Milford. And then as file, come in same level 230. Okay, clear to 46 Uniform by a uh, right turn direct to Milford as filed. Uh, maintain flight level 230, 9 top back check. And there we go with our 3,400 foot per minute climb. Pushing the power up here. Bump the speed up to 135 actually, I guess. There if we get any icing. I don't think we're gonna get icing. I don't know about this stuff up here. Maybe. I think we make a little bit. I'm gonna be on kind of the tail end of some of this precip ahead. But hopefully we just get above it before we really get to any. Two. Looks like we might be back in this for just a second up ahead. And then we should be on top from there. We can close the inertial separator and get even a little bit more out of this. November 9 1 Pop X ray, you can continue to climb, climb in tempo 310. Flight level 310 Pop X ray. November 91, Papa X-ray, uh, go ahead and contact Salt Lake Center 125.57, you guys take care. 2557, one Papa X-ray, thanks for the help, good day. Hey, let's see you guys. 
Flight Lake Center, TBM 901, Papa X ray, flight level 250 for flight level 310. November 901, Papa X ray, flight center. So with the initial separator on, we're going to be uh, ITT limited for the moment, but as soon as we get above this stuff, then we can close that here, it looks like probably about another 30 seconds, and then get the rest of the power out of this thing. Back from 1,200 feet a minute to 1,000-ish feet a minute. Alrighty, I would say we are on top of this. I'll go ahead and close the inertial separator. Watch the power creep up there. Let's take some speed. There we go, now we got a nice 1,700 feet per minute. Good day, American 2834. We're doing 285 knots over the ground. Yeah, we're still I'm pick up about another 100 knots here in a minute. Beautiful up here. It is. And already up here we picked up quite a bit of range too. We could go yep. halfway across the country in the climb. That's wild. That's going to be a good plane to fly around the world. Oh. Doing a thousand feet per minute up here, thirty thousand feet. Can't do that in the L thirty nine. Salt Lake Center, Pack Valley seven seven zero. Do you get me out there? Oh, you'd be going hundred knots faster, but up here, I mean, I've never had it this high because it's not RBSM, but um, up here, about uh, five hundred feet a minute. There we go, coming up on flight level three one zero. Just about an hour out, pending weather. So like Center, Lear Jet, 77, Charlie Hotel. So we'll accelerate a little bit here. Charlie Hotel, Flight Center, Center maintain, 5 level 320. Keep an eye on the engine as we do, but that's not really going to change meaningfully up here. But when we come through 169 knots, we'll get our little recommended cruise power range there to set. Okay, it is 169 knots. There's our little recommended cruise power, which we're basically at. Can maybe pump push it up just a hair here. A little range on the torque. There we go, right at the top. 88% torque, still building some speed. It's gonna be doing about 400 knots over the ground. Now our range is, you know, we can go all the way to Chicago. Easy. We have, you know, almost half tanks. Oh. It's pretty cool. Okay. Well, let's see here. We go to trip planning and see people on board. So we're showing 189 based on the totalizer. And so that's uh, you know, fuel required. We need 48 to get there. We got two hours and 36 minute endurance right now. Uh, up, up here, we're going for we're going 430 miles an hour, 440 miles an hour, and we're still getting uh, nine miles per gallon. And we're going direct, so I mean, basically, like we're getting, you know, our efficiency right here, like SUV efficiency, 430 miles an hour. That's pretty wild. That's crazy. Center 133.45. Looks like looks like we're gonna true out about 308 knots with a 60 knot tailwind, doing 375 over the ground right now. What's that? That's a wonderful question. Uh, oh, because we're back a little further, the, uh, it went to high bleed for a minute. Oh. A little chillier. Yeah, it definitely got a little cold. Well, now we have an airplane that doesn't have heat, and, uh... And it's only negative 48 degrees Celsius outside. What is that, negative 53 yeah, Fahrenheit? 50, yeah, it's 50 something Fahrenheit. Great. <sighs> Only 35 more minutes. <laughs> the uh, weather page here. So everything's actually VFR despite all this. Down there at Salt Lake. What's it doing at Fort Uniform? Uh, well, that's a different matter. I'm just wondering what it looks like between here and there if we have to send or divert. Uh, okay, we've been in manual mode here. Let's try auto. See if that happens to different. 
At least if we do have to divert our land, we're at Salt Lake City and not... Right, with nowhere. all this weather that it right. just sent through. Yeah, but it could be it could be middle of nowhere. Oh, it's out of order. Um, okay. I mean, basically we've done... Pretty much everything. Everything. Three step fleet, turn on auto. I have an override. Let's go to cabin, see if that does anything different, but... You, um, what do you need? So there's a cabin control back there. Okay. That's, so basically it's either like cabin or override. You could go back there and make sure that, that cabin control is turned up all the way. Okay. But that's about the last thing to check here. Interestingly, there's a little note card here in the pressurization and air conditioning emergency procedures. I wonder why that could be. That's convenient. Okay. Remember one Papa X ray contact Salt Lake Center 127.7. 127.7, one Papa X ray, good day. Like Salt Lake's View 3000, broke 4300. Nice thing. Salt Lake Center, TBM 901, Papa X ray, flight level 310. Oh, now we're back in the possible easiness, too. Who is that, please? Yeah, TBM 901, Papa X ray, flight level 310. Over 901, Papa X ray, Salt Lake Center, Rider. <sighs> There's really nothing for this in the POA. Oh. How much colder is it going to get? How much colder? Salt Lake Center is 7764. Here's first 7764, Salt Lake Center, Rudder. Yeah, we can't push the power up anymore. I mean, it was odd that we got that bleed high. Okay, the bleed high and then the... This, with this much power and then like the heat just goes out after that. Right. So like clearly something is wrong with it. I'm just like, where is the best place to do something about this at this point? Um, don't love the weather getting down into Salt Lake. 863, Salt Lake Center, right over landing um, south of Salt Lake. It's going to maintain flight level 200. Uh, should be a smooth ride down there. Right, so the 200, right now we just got... Uh, I don't think we necessarily want to do another 30 minutes of this right, right now. 63 right, uh, that would be pretty miserable. We're to fly at uh, continuous flight, occasional moderate, maybe some occasional severe... And plus if we uh, go back to Alpine, the, the, then what? Between, it'll uh, still be uh, cold on another day. Then we can, I mean, uh, my question is just like, does anybody in Salt Lake do any meaningful TVM maintenance? Like, what is this going to take? <sighs> Do we want to go to Ogden? Do we want to go to South Valley? 7764, Salt Lake Center, Rider, Burley Altimeter, 2978. We have a sat phone in here, but that's kind of a spot. Center TBM uh, 1, Papa X-ray. Stand by. TBM 1, Papa X-ray, Salt Lake Center, go ahead. Yeah, what have rides been like uh, into Salt Lake? Uh, the rides have been pretty poor, um, kind of a longer route of flight and ease. Uh, continuous flight, occasional moderate turbulence. And is that the same for uh, descent into Salt Lake City too? Yeah, it's a descent into Salt Lake on that Carter side. It seems like the Bear side, that um, western gate, is mostly smooth, but the eastern gate having some uh, bad rides on the descent. By the time we come, I mean, the thing is, we're almost at the top Axel of descent. Zero, have a fly rear rear for you to avoid some military airspace. Axel 1 zero is ready to copy. And moderate turbulence doesn't sound very fun. Third direct, okay. Lima, Whiskey, Lima. Fine's direct broken 1600, Ruby, which is fine for us. Right, I'm kind of inclined to give it a few Ruby minutes to see how much colder it can. I mean, I wonder if I turn this off entirely. Maybe if we just don't have it blowing at us, it'll be... Well, there's not really a way to do that without turning it okay. off entirely. So we got the fan off. November 1, pop X-ray, say, rag initial level 310. 
Uh, it's been pretty smooth, occasional light chop. Um, I guess, do you have any reports uh, lower altitudes has been smooth up here and, and bumpy or down low on, on this route or kind of the same everywhere? Yeah, it's east of your position, about 25 to 30 miles out of report of uh, some possible severe turbulence with some moderate turbulence um, from 310 all the way down to 220 uh, inbound to Salt Lake. I'd suggest staying there at 31 uh, for another eight minutes and then uh, starting down. It should be a better ride up north. Okay, thanks. That sounds not fun. I mean, order 670, contact Salt Lake Center. 124.35. Bit eight minutes and C. 122.35. To this point, it's basically like climbing a jet prop. 124.35. 124.35. <laughs> Sorry about that. Thanks. Boom. Oh. Go and turn the windshield heat on. Gonna have much defrost up there. Yeah, maybe, maybe that'll help. Maybe, maybe that'll make it a bit warmer, but. Or that could be out too. Yeah. Or that could be out too. Oh, that works. Yeah. I mean, that's electric, and that's. The problem here is something Air with the air conditioning, which it's kind of been a little. <laughs> but it hasn't just like outright failed yet. <sighs> Miles scattered 200, broken 700. That sounds less fun. I don't know if we get any maintenance in Idaho Falls. Yeah, we're, we're not. I mean, really, the option is Salt Lake. Guys, Jerry, 60. We could probably do something in Driggs. At least I know those guys, but I don't know if we get a car there at oh, way. It's like 6 o'clock on. Yeah. In Driggs? No. Yeah. Nobody's going to be in Driggs at 6. On a Monday. But we're also definitely not getting service in Idaho Falls. Salt Lake Center, TBM, 9 or 1, Papa X ray, flight level 310. Silver 9 or 1, Papa X ray, Salt Lake Center. Yeah, Center 1, Papa X ray, um, what have rides been like in the descent, and is it any better off towards Pocatello or Idaho Falls versus further east? November 91, Papa X ray. Um, I think heard part of that. Understand you're ready for your descent. Descent at pilot's discretion. Maintain 1 2000. Alpine altimeter is 2993. Advise halfway to flight. 2993 discretion to 1 2000. And um, I guess, yeah, just, just wondering for now uh, what the rides have been like in the descent and if it's any better off towards Idaho Falls or Pocatello versus uh, Alpine. 901 Papa X ray. I haven't had too many aircraft um, along your route of flight descending uh, with a ride report low altitude. I've had some light chop throughout though. Okay, anybody going into like Idaho Falls or something? Uh, is there still light chop? You have a 901 Papa X ray. Don't have anyone in Idaho Falls now. Okay. So, 1992. It's going to be AWOS and Alpine. Center, flight level 360. 360. Hey, Alpine Airport, automated weather observation. Yeah, Center, one pop x-ray. Uh, we'd actually like to change our, de or, well, if we change our destination back to Alpine, uh, is everything pretty clear from here to High Robin Inn? West hey. 1624, contact Alex Center. Nice light on. Good day. Both sounds are 455 Well, that's a little concerning. I cycle the gear again. 